Sharp. Uh, he's a great songwriter and friend, great singer, real innovative banjo picker, kind of touches on all the styles, real hard driving, can, can carry the rhythm of a band just right in his right hand, you know, big part of uh, the sound of our band. I mean, I think, you know, that there's so many styles across North Carolina, you know, I mean, obviously Earl's from here, but Don Reno's from here, Tommy Gerald and uh, Fred Cockrum are all from, you know, the middle part of the state and up into Virginia, so there's tons of banjo styles from North Carolina, and I think a lot of the most influential ones of all, of all time, obviously, from around here. Um, I'd say my banjo style really is just kind of try to build it around whatever the song, you know, or whatever the song we're playing requires. I don't write songs on the banjo. You know, I usually write on the guitar, so when it comes time to do the banjo, it's a little bit different. Pretty much everything I do on the record is pretty straight ahead Scrug style, so, you know, that's your... Some of the songs, you know, require a little bit more of a sort of a progressive type feel, you know, so um, that's fun to do. Some of it's more of a honky-tonk. Long shot's more of, you know, I wouldn't call it a really a necessarily a Scruggs style, but it's kind of just a... And I enjoy that, you know, we like, we've, we've done a lot of honky-tonk in our days, songs, and uh, that's something I love to play. It's a fun type style, it's kind of a J.D. Crow type thing. You know, we had the luxury of, when we started the band, of not having any really obligations or, so I didn't really have a lot of, you know, career plans, you know, I taught school when I got out for a year and I, you know, I always thought you know, being a teacher would be something I'd enjoy doing. I did enjoy it, but you just can't do it and try to be a traveling musician at the same time. But you know, when we started, we could just go out for eight weeks at a time and just play 10 gigs in eight weeks. You know, we had that freedom. You know, now it's a lot different, you know, we've kind of grown into our grown-up roles with the band. When this band started, you know, that was kind of our whole thing, was we just go anywhere and play for anybody, kind of as long as there was a river around and we could fish in our spare time. So. When I started out in college, yeah, I didn't own a banjo, didn't ever think I'd play banjo, never really considered it. You know, I was, uh, I was actually on the soccer team and spent all my time playing soccer, you know. The, hurt my knee and kind of all those 25 hours or whatever it was that I spent playing soccer, I think kind of transferred over to the banjo. Rather than getting a guitar and plugging it into an amp, you know, a banjo just seemed like something that was real organic, I guess, you know, something very tangible that you could just feel comfortable just having, sitting alone in a room with it or, you know, you could just take around. And it worked, it worked out, it took a, it took a long time, but eventually uh, took some lessons and um, Woody took some lessons from the same guy and we kind of learned all together and <laughs> it's been strange but uh, that's what they say when they go and get strange, the strange go pro, so it's been us. Awesome. <laughs>